Today we're going to be putting on a new Dexcom G6 as well as an Omnipod 5 as well as overlay patches. Riker's choosing to do these on the back of his arms this time. Um, this is where we had one last time. That one bled a little. That one didn't do so great so we're going to do it in a different spot. Let's see your other arm. Okay, that side looks pretty good. He wants to do his um, pod which is the pump on this side and the sensor, the Dexcom on the other side. All right, we're gonna have links to all these things down in the description. This is an alcohol swab. Just getting this all cleaned up. Okay, point to where you want it poked in, bud. Okay, yeah. right there, okay. This is skin tack, this will help it stick. And give that just a, just a second. This is the Dexcom G6 sensor. Okay, can you get out your phone? You're gonna need it. Okay, you ready? Bend your arm. That one hurt? Kind of. A little bit. Yeah. Okay, and that one is, I don't see any blood. So we're going to take the no, transmitter. A blood. I'm sorry. Okay. Can you go ahead and start it up? Yes. These are SIM patch. These are adhesive stickers. I think they're, they're made from the same things as uh, like snore strips and different different stuff like that. So this is just, it's sticky on the back side. This helps it from pulling off, especially through activities. If he's going to be playing sports or doing water sports. Even, and then sometimes we'll wrap it up with, with some uh, medical tape. Okay, turn to the other side. Let's do, let's do your pod. You can see his tan lines from where he's had them there in the summer. Let me turn this way, bro. This time we're not going to do any skin tack for the pod. Now the pod setup is is a little bit more involved. So on the pod, this Omnipod, we've got the the pump itself. We've got a little syringe, and then we've got his insulin. This is a fast acting insulin. I'm going to screw the syringe on there. Going to pull out. About 120 units, these Omnipods. The minimum is 80 units and they will hold, I believe 200. We've never never gone that far because we don't need that much. This only lasts three days and then there's an eight hour grace period. Okay. Now we're not giving him this much insulin. That would, that would not be good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put, push this in. Okay, it beeps. That acknowledges that there's at least 80 units in there. Put in the needle. With this, again, everything can be linked down in the description. So he's using his phone to communicate with the pod and start priming. You can go ahead and take those off and get those ready. And if you can see, it's communicating with the pod, it's priming, it's actually pushing the insulin into there through the, through all the little tubes and things. Okay, go ahead and turn. Where do you want it to poke you? Down there. Okay, right there. You turn a little bit more. Okay, right there. Turn some more, please. And Riker, you put these on yourself sometimes, huh? Yeah, well, more for sensors. Okay, go ahead and start it. 
Now this is gonna insert the, the cannula in there, the little tube that delivers the insulin. And we're gonna go ahead and do this brand of skin grip. This is an, an overlay patch that goes on there. That hurt, oh, bud? Yeah. That won't hurt. Sure. Don't mess this one up. Same concept as the Dexcom one. It just goes over and around. Now this will communicate with this pod. And let's see, put both arms down. So this one will communicate with his, with his Dexcom. His Dexcom will give readings to this. It'll automatically give him some insulin. And also when he's going to eat, um, it is when he's going to eat, and then he'll give him, he puts in how many carbs he's going to have, and he'll give him his insulin. 